Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 8, Football Manager 20, and we are home on the range, Rovers with Forest Green. Uh, real quick, just a shout out to one of my channel members and one of my uh, personal friends in real life. Uh, he's going through some, uh, some stuff dealing with the big C. Uh, like my son did several years ago, and uh, so he uh, is just starting treatment. I will not mention his name for his privacy, but uh, dude, we're thinking about you, and uh, good luck. Good luck. We're thinking about you and praying for you. Uh, let's get into the match stuff today. So since last episode, we had the doubleheader with Sheffield Wednesday uh, in the FA Cup, losing in the fourth round replay 1-0. Uh, we drew with Walsall 1-1, got a goal from Harvey White, and then we beat Port Vale 2-0, Harvey White with a penalty, and Elliot Freer from the wing in the 94th minute to salt the game away. Oldham took us down 2-0. We, we were supposed to win this game and we just looked horrible uh macclesfield a 4-1 dismantling we actually gave up an own goal for their lone score jack atchinson with a hat trick and harvey white with an 87th minute penalty i'm guessing atchinson would have gotten the penalty had he not scored just a few minutes before to give him a shot at the hat trick scunthorpe was a 2-2 draw marin pilge with a late goal in the first half and Aaron Collins early in the second half to put us up, uh, put us up, well, draws even, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm looking at a different score. Leighton Orient, two to one. We got the win. Atchison and Collins combined again to put us up two nil in that one. They got a late goal from Sterling and then Swindon, a one, one draw Rob Hall getting the early goal and we could not make it last. So currently, we are in fourth position, 16 wins, 16 draws, plus 25 goal differential, sitting on 64 points, just one point behind automatic promotion where Crawley is sitting. We have been fighting them tooth and nail, and that's what's killing us right there is all the draws. Uh, we've got double the draws, basically, of any of the top, you know, top teams. And uh, that's that's killing us. And that's, you know, and I know what it is. It comes down to our tactics. My camera looks angled down. I just wanted to make sure I was centered there. So hopefully I remember to edit that out. Uh, but anyway, we uh, we're sitting in fourth. We're looking good. We are expected to go up with promotion. So it's looking at the club vision. We're a C plus currently. Uh, I did get a new contract back uh, in January. So I think we, we talked about that. We have picked up a senior affiliate back in January as well. well. Let's see, where did we leave off? Yeah, that was in February. So we should know about that already. So I will not rehash. Um, we're on course uh, to, for the payroll. They're disappointed with our winning promotion. So that's changed recently uh, because we're not in the automatic promotion. We passed... Uh, two of the trophy competitions, we failed in the Carabao Cup. Oh, man. So, yeah, we've uh, we've got a little ground to make up. So let's get into it. I did come back a little early because we're on the cusp of automatic promotion. So we're going to be playing Northampton and Morecambe today. They're both near bottom of the table, 20th and 24th, respectively. Uh, so that's what's going on there. Real quick look at the squad. So again, we have our our three uh, our five lone players now: Leaf Davis, Marin Pilge, who is injured for another week, Harvey White, Rob Hall, Jack Atchison, and uh, they're all playing really well. Pilge, White, and Atchison looking really good. Taking a look at our goal scoring leaders, it's Aaron Collins now with 17 on the season. Jack Atchison with 13. They have 11 assists between them. Lloyd James has chipped in seven goals and nine assists in just 26 matches. And Harvey White, four goals, two assists, playing a 7.33 average rating in just 11 matches since joining the club. Mikulski has three goals in three. He hasn't gotten a lot of playing time, but I've been trying to ramp that up. And 
Let's see, is that, that's an out. Ben Ingram has uh, gotten a couple of bids, not really worried about anything there. And 2-2. Two, two. You guys may not have seen that one. It was a free transfer. We brought in Pilch, but Adrian Pettifer is a free transfer. Um, this, oh yeah, I mentioned this one. This is one that my director of football uh, found, brought in as a youngster for uh, our reserve club. So yeah, anyway, that's what's going on there. All right, let's get into the matches. We have uh, played Northampton once. We've beaten them, and we are pretty heavy favorites in this one. Uh, so I am going to go with the, I'm going to dial it up to attacking here. Pilge is out. So we're going to bring Winchester off the bench. So it's kind of weird, right? Collins, Atchison, Hall, White, Winchester, Adams, Davis will be at left back, Shepard right back, McGinley and Rawson in the central defense, Smith in the goal. And uh, let's see, of course, as always, only the six substitutes on the bench and we know why that is I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching the videos if you like what you're seeing let me know in the comments below if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you keep uh, tabs also just a heads up i did put it out on my twitter yesterday and i think i've mentioned it in the previous video I was looking at the analytics, and it looks like most of my views come between 11 a.m. and noon, my time. So I was uploading at about 1.30 in the afternoon, so I'm going to start bumping up my uh, video release time uh, to 11 o'clock a.m., and that's Central Standard Time uh, in the United States. I believe, I believe that's 5 p.m. in London. I believe, and I don't know how many time zones there are in England, but uh, I think London time is six out is plus six. So uh, just a heads up, so you guys aren't missing videos or wonder what's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and kick off. Enough with the announcements. Let's play some football. All right, pretty even. We've got a slight advantage. There's Rawson. Some quick one-touching. Right, there's a nice ball out to Hall. He's got a trailer. He gets past his defender. It's in. Headed across. Oh, and Hall sends it over the bar. Thought we had a little bit better opportunities there in the box. All right, let's get creative. Looks like we're putting some shots, but we're not getting many on target. So that's something we'll have to watch. Fight. Ah, he just gave that up. Oh, White with the good interception on that cross. And, yeah, his counterpart there did not do anything good for us. Oh, what a finish by Nicky Adams on the volley. Just banked it off the inside of the bar. And that was a little unlucky for us. Shepard got torched on that ball out to Treore. And Davis should have had that, I think. And Davis puts his head in his hands, and he knows that he let the team down there. Let's see if he can get up. No, no, he's uh, he's not. McGinley. All right, back up to Davis, who loses it promptly again. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to take off run at defense, and I'm going to turn the tempo down. <clears throat> That's always one of the things that I've heard and that I, I seem to find is if you're if you're making a lot of mistakes, especially what looks to be a lot of stupid mistakes, it's that they're trying to play too fast and they're just not quite good enough. And that's that's fine, you know, that happens. All right, there's a nice ball up top, but it gets headed away. Atchison cannot find the goal right into the keeper's bread basket. Uh, let's uh, demand more. They're frustrated. We're focused. 
but they get the highlight. Cross into the box. McGinley heads it out. Oh, Hall is there. Out to Atchison. We've got a breakaway. Crosses over to Winchester in space. And an offsides possibly. Doesn't look like it. The linesman ran back up. And Aaron Collins nets number 18. Winchester gets the assist, but, you know, he took a shot. That wasn't an attempt to play him on. Collins just happened to be in the right place, right time, and it was uh, good who kept Collins on sides. So, so thank you for that. And we're even at one apiece. Can we get... Oh, no. Oh, that was the ugliest goal I think I've ever seen. I mean, there's been some ugly ones, but... Good positioning. I mean, he slotted that right where he needed to, but that was bad. Adams just gets his pocket picked. And we had our entire back line there. Nobody did anything. Oh, I can feel the yelling coming at halftime. We have dominated this game statistically. Aggressive. Do you even want to win this? You avoid a booking and haul calm. I don't usually like to do this. I see Aussie Villa do that all the time. I don't do that, but I did it this time just because he was the only one that had a negative. So, sorry. All right. Um,. Looks like there was a foul. Can we put this in? It's, it's, I thought it was already in. Boy, the net was shaking. Looks like McGinley had, we had to wait for McGinley to tow it into the net. That's his first of the season, and we are equalized. Uh, let's uh, push forward. I thought that was in off the bar. I thought that was a cross, but evidently not. Evidently not, and that's okay. <clears throat> Come on, boys. All right. White's playing well, but I've got I've got a pretty decent midfield. So let's let's get White off. Let's bring Dominic Bernard on for Davis, who's looking tired. And McGinley's really knackered too, so we'll want to possibly look at that. All right, uh, I want to give a shout here, show some passion. Ooh. All right, Rawson is now, Rawson's down to a 62, McGinley's at a 63. All right, let's bring Kitching on for, uh, and his speed. Tell you what, I am gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move Kitching to the cover, and can I move? Let's move McGinley out to the left. Yeah, he's got the pace. He's not the best defender, but it gives us more fresh legs in that center back position. Puts our tired legs on the wing. All right, let's uh, demand more. I don't want to. I don't want to go attacking because I don't want to give up the losing goal here in the last minutes. So at least we get out with a point. But boy, we dominated that game. This is another one. We let it get away. Too many draws. Too many draws. I'm going to say it was disappointing. That's what we'll go with, and we'll be back to take on Morecambe here in just a second as we fall down to sixth in the table. So we're set to, to break our club record for draws, which is 18. We've got 17, and we've got a lot of games left, so I think there's plenty of time to do that, right? I mean, you know, we need two more draws out of eight matches. I think we're on pace to do that. All right, we're back home to take on Morecambe. 
Uh, we are favored. We've beaten them twice. I think uh, I'm going to drop our tempo here. I'm just going to go positive. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take off the run at D. Um, now nah, we'll keep that on for right now. And I'm going to condense just a little bit there. See what that does for us. All right, so Collins up top. We're going to bring Freer in to go be in for Atchison, and I'm guessing that's due to fitness. Yep, 88%. White and Winchester, James Davis. Uh, I think let's go ahead and bring Stokes on for Davis. And then I'm going to put Davis in for... No, I'm not. Davis will come off the bench this match. James has been playing pretty well. I mean, a 6'8'6". Six, six. Davis is on a 6'6'4", six, six, so not, not where I would like him to be. And... You know what? I want, uh, I want March. Let's give March a start. We'll do that. Uh, six substitutes from seven, fully aware. All right. They don't really care about that. And we're off. They're playing a 4-1-4-1. They do get the first shot of the game. And the first highlight. Oh, my God. Tom Bruett, second goal. Looks like Bernard stopped it on the line, but nobody was there to clear it out, and he had his back to it. That was, I wonder if he cut the keeper off. He might have. No, it went over the keeper. Yeah, that was, that was disappointing. We've got to do better than that. All right, we've got a highlight. Kitching, white. Slow build up. Solid passing. Oh, there's a nice drop in pass to Freer. It's blocked twice and then cleared out. Kitchen controls it. Mills. Not a good pass downfield. But Winchester does a better job. Bernard drops it into White. Good ball. Down to Freer at the touchline. Crossed in, and Aaron Collins picks up number 19 off the assist from Freer. Good cross in off the touchline, and Collins slots that one home for the equalizer here in the 15th minute. So 1-1. One, one. We're looking good. I'm going to tell him to get creative. You can do it. All game long. Oh, what a save by the keeper and then cleared away. Boy, he just got a fingertip on that, it looked like. That was nice. Wow. Boy, our right back our left back got caught way out of position there. Or actually there he was. He was way inside. Stokes with a good tackle. Demand more. Get some focus here down the stretch here in the first half. Bernard picks up a yellow late. Struggled to make inroads and struggled for possession. So they are, they're sitting in a 4-1-4-1. I am wondering... No, I want to stay here. What about... I'm going to change that to a halfback. Freer is left-footed. So let's just make him a winger. I could reverse him, and that would be the right thing to do. But let's just try... Let's just try with wingers, right? And then if they're staying out wide, then I don't need him to be a Mazala because they drift out into the half spaces. Let's make him a box-to-box -box on support. 
Now, does he have pretty good finishing? He's got a 10. He's got a 13 in long shots. So let's make him let's make him a box to box. Oh no, I already have a box to box. Don't do that. A roaming playmaker. Let's try that. I need a playmaker out there. And that allows him to drift around with these guys being up in attack, right? I think so. We're going to go with that. I hope that's a good decision. It was disappointing. Dominic Bernard, I need you to uh, watch your step. And we'll start the second half. All right, tactical changes. I always hate when I do those because I just don't know how to do them good. All right, get creative. White's there. Goes through the mixer. And it's cleared out. Looks like we've got people back on defense, but Letch Smith on um, nice poke away by James. You know what? Hold on. I want, I'm going to raise the tempo a little bit and the passing directness. Just a touch, just a smidge. Get out of the way there, Mr. Official. All right, Stokes lays it back to Kitching, back up to White. Finds Winchester. Oh, nice ball out to Stokes. Crossed in, and Collins gets number 20. His second goal of the game, number 20 on the season to put us up 2-1. Very, very nice ball. Entry pass and finish. Oh, cleared off the line by Stokes. That was brilliant. The keeper missed it, but Stokes saved the day. Wow. Just saved the day completely. I'm going to bring in Mondal for him. He's not playing well. And then we're going to switch him to the inside forward. Because he's playing on the opposite side with his good foot. And then uh, Dominic Bernard is on the right. I don't have anybody else that can play on the right. I'm sure Davis could do the job. He is left-footed, but still. Chris Stoke, he's left-footed. Matt Mills. Tell you what, I want to bring... I want to bring him in for Mills. Having Mills back there just scares me. I can't wait for him to retire at the end of the season. Uh, let's see. Demand more, because it's still close. All right, there's a big, big throw. James controls it. Stokes finds Freer. And he has a heavy touch and gives it up. White. Oh, that's a nice little flick out header to Bernard. Winchester pings it. And there's an offsides to Collins. Pulling goal number 21 for him off the board. He was definitely offsides. I thought Winchester was going to take a blast at that one. All right, White into the box. Oh, and they've got a big, oh. Luckily, nobody was out there. Thought we might have a counter opportunity there on us. Oh, White fights through it. Into the box. And he's taken down. And that's going to be a penalty. Let's go ahead and sub him off. Now, he's going to take the penalty, I think. But he is really tired. And let's bring in... Uh, let me check. How is Pilge... Pilge is a foot injury, but he's at 90%. I really don't want to play him if he's injured, though. But I don't think I'm going to have a choice here. Well, what I could do, Mondal can play right and left. Does he have the abilities to play in the center? He can pass. He's not a defender, so he would be a support role. He can pass. He's got below average first touch, 
So we don't want him doing that. Um, so maybe a box to box with him. So we'll move Winchester for white. And then we'll bring... Oh, well, Grub can play center. Yeah, there you go. All that thinking for nothing, RC. Come on. Oh, and it's saved. Collins does not get his hat trick. He drops it back. Oh, that's a oh, that was a two-footed lunge. That was horrible. He doesn't even get a card for that? Are you kidding me? Grub right into the wall. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Hashtag sarcasm. And then Grub gets called for the foul. Oh, my God. All right. Let's pop into tactics uh, in transition. We'll have the keeper slow the pace down. Um, we're going to go more passing on the directness. Uh, I think we're going to regroup when we lose shape. And we'll do that. Uh, concentrate. They're not going to like that. I don't really care. This has been a one-sided game. Stoke throws into the box. Grub over the bar. Oh, that would have been a nice late goal just to ease us home with that one. But there's the match. Two to one. Comfortable win. We both had nine shots on target. We had more than double the shots. I'd like to see some better chances. Don't know. Uh, let's see. 82% passing, 84% tackles, which is a little less than they, you know, good. They were at 92. Headers, 61. I'd like to see that get a little bit better. But still, we got the job done. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell them it was disappointing. They won. I'm going to be calm. We got away. We need to be much better. There we go. I think that's the way to handle that, dude. You don't tell them that they were poor. They won the match. And we're back up to fourth with another three points. Three points behind Crawley, who we are still chasing. One point in front of Plymouth and Bradford City. All right, we will come back. Um, well, speaking of Plymouth and Bradford City, that seems to be a good spot to come back. Then we're going to be we're playing both of those teams for positioning, and then I guess we can come back for uh, Cambridge and Colchester to see uh, how we end up. So uh, Collins needs a rest. Uh, let's see, schedule-wise, he'd miss the crew game, but you know, I could probably do that. So let's go ahead and give him a rest for a week. And Collins shines, 13 headers, two goals, but he missed the penalty kick. I'd, I'd like to tell him something about that. Guys, don't forget, smash that like button if you liked what you saw. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of the save so far. Any suggestions or ideas? Anyway, we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.